everything you've been told about when robots will change your life is a lie. While you were sleeping, three impossible things became real. And I mean real, not prototypes, not concepts, actually happening right now. A robot that costs $99, not $9,000, not $999, less than your monthly phone bill. With a face so realistic, it triggers something primal in your brain. Artificial muscles nine times stronger than anything that's ever existed, stronger than your actual muscle tissue, and you can 3D print them like a toy. And a robotic eye that runs on nothing, no battery, no power. It uses the light it's seeing to see. Every expert timeline just collapsed. What they said would take until 2040? It shipped last month. China is flooding the market. Western companies have no idea what's about to hit them. And the world's smartest tech investor just went all in, saying this is the biggest of all AI opportunities. And she's underselling it. By the end of this video, you'll understand why the next five years will be more disruptive than the last 50. Let me show you the research papers nobody's reading. The University of Waterloo just published research that made robotics engineers around the world stop what they were doing. They created an artificial muscle nine times stronger than any previous soft material and three times more powerful than your actual biological muscle tissue. A single fiber from this material can lift 2,000 times its own weight. If your muscles worked like this, you could bench press a fully loaded semi-truck. But here's the part that's making engineers lose their minds. These aren't rigid hydraulic systems. These aren't bulky motors. These are soft, flexible. You can bend them, twist them, stretch them like rubber bands, and they don't break. For decades, robotics has faced an impossible choice. Strong or flexible, heavy or nimble, powerful or adaptable. You couldn't have both. Until now. The breakthrough came from liquid crystals. Yes, the same compounds in your smartphone screen mixed into rubber-like elastomers. Under X-ray analysis, researchers discovered the liquid crystals formed tiny solid pockets throughout the material, like chocolate chips suspended in cookie dough. These pockets act as rigid support while the surrounding material stays completely flexible. Dr. Hamed Shasavan, who led this research, called it the simplest yet most robust strategy to maintain programmable nature. That word, programmable, is crucial. Because the research team is now developing these materials as inks for 3D printing. Downloadable robot muscles. Custom designed for any application. Printed in hours instead of manufactured over months. The paper is published. The materials exist. Commercialization is underway. But if you think super strong muscles are impressive, wait until you see what just happened with robot vision. Scientists at Georgia Tech just created something that sounds like magic. A robotic eye that can see details smaller than the width of a human hair, and it runs on nothing. Zero external power, no batteries, no electronics, no circuits, no wires. The lens is made from a hydrogel embedded with microscopic graphene oxide particles. When light hits these particles, they heat up slightly. The hydrogel shrinks. The lens focuses. Remove the light. The hydrogel swells back. It resets automatically. The eye powers itself using the light it's trying to capture. The resolution? Four micrometers. Small enough to see individual hairs on an ant's leg. Small enough to distinguish texture on a single grain of pollen. But here's what makes this genuinely revolutionary. Corey Junk, the doctoral student who developed this, explained, We can control the lens in really unique ways because the hydrogel is adaptable. They can design it to mimic vision systems humans don't even have. Want to see like a cat? With vertical pupils that excel at detecting camouflaged prey? They can program that. Want a cuttlefish's W-shaped retina that perceives wavelengths invisible to human eyes? That's possible too. Robot vision that doesn't just match human capability, it surpasses it and runs on ambient light. The researchers are already integrating this into microfluidic systems, autonomous sensors where the same light that creates the image powers the entire camera system. Think about the implications. 
Robots operating in environments where traditional electronics die instantly. Underwater exploration, extreme radiation zones, high temperature industrial settings, deep space. This technology just opened that door. Now those two breakthroughs alone would be remarkable, but they pale in comparison to what just happened in China. Two years ago, an advanced humanoid robot cost $80,000 to $150,000. Today, in China, you can buy one for $99, less than a pair of decent headphones, less than dinner for two. China didn't just make robots cheaper, they made them disturbingly lifelike. One Chinese tech company unveiled an ultra-realistic robotic face that blinks, twitches its mouth, raises its eyebrows, and nods with movement that triggers something primal in your brain that uncanny valley response where your gut says, this is wrong. Here's why this matters beyond the creep factor. When breakthrough technology becomes affordable, adoption accelerates exponentially. The first commercial computers cost millions and filled entire rooms. When they dropped to $2,000, they went into every office. When they hit 500, every home. Mobile phones cost $4,000 and weighed two pounds. When they became affordable, global adoption in less than a decade. But with robotics, this pattern is compressing into an impossibly short time frame. And China is betting everything on being first to market. Here's the geopolitical reality nobody's talking about. Western robotics companies, Boston Dynamics, Agility Robotics, Figure AI, are focused on premium humanoids. 20 to $40,000 units for specialized industrial applications. China is playing a completely different game. Make them cheap, make them lifelike, flood the global market, win the manufacturing race before Western competitors realize the game has changed. This is the exact playbook China used with solar panels, EV batteries, consumer drones, and telecommunications hardware. Once China achieves manufacturing scale, competitors can't catch up. The cost advantages compound. The supply chain advantages multiply. This isn't just a race for better robots, it's a race for who controls the next layer of global labor. If a sub-$100 humanoid becomes a household product, even a basic one, China becomes the world's default robotic supplier overnight. For elder care, small business automation, home assistance, agriculture, logistics, disaster response. This isn't about military dominance, this is about societal infrastructure. The country that controls affordable humanoids controls the next layer of civilization. But cost alone doesn't create a revolution. You need capability. And that's where the final piece just fell into place. For 60 years, robotics has been held back by one fundamental problem. Bodies advanced faster than brains. We could build robots that were incredibly strong and mechanically sophisticated. But they couldn't think. They couldn't adapt. They couldn't reason about the physical world. A robot could pick up a specific object in a specific location, but move that object six inches? Failure. Change the lighting? Failure. Introduce an obstacle? Failure. That limitation just evaporated. Google DeepMind released AI models specifically designed to give robots physical intelligence. These models can understand physics and predict how objects will interact Plan complex sequences of actions. Adapt to unexpected conditions in real time. Learn autonomously from camera input. Reason about forces, balance, weight, and momentum. This is the missing piece. Now combine. Super strong artificial muscles. Self-powered vision systems that see better than human eyes. Manufacturing that produces humanoids for under $100 AI that gives robots human-level physical reasoning. You get something the world has never seen. A robot that is simultaneously strong, smart, cheap, and energy efficient. For the first time in history, we're not making trade-offs. We're getting all of it at once. And here's what makes this unprecedented. Every expert timeline has been wrong, consistently. In 2020, experts said affordable humanoid robots were 10 to 15 years away. In 2022, they said soft robotics wouldn't match traditional system strength for decades. In 2023, they said robot vision would always require sophisticated electronics. All wrong. 
the pattern is undeniable. We are systematically underestimating the pace of advancement because breakthroughs are compounding. Each advancement enables the next one faster than before. So what does this actually mean in practice right now? Let me show you what's not in labs anymore. Neo, a humanoid robot that folds laundry, tidies houses, and learns new tasks through AI observation. Shipping to paying customers now. Ali, a humanoid that taught itself to stand up from any position without human intervention. Robotic dogs playing badminton against humans, actually competing in sustained rallies, tracking trajectory, positioning strategically. Surgical assistants using soft robotic arms for microscopic precision, impossible for human hands. Delivering drugs to specific cellular locations, performing minimally invasive operations. These are commercial products being deployed in homes, hospitals and factories. For the first time in history, robots just became cheaper and dramatically more capable, all in the same month. This isn't gradual progress anymore. It's an exponential leap and almost no one has realized it yet. So what does one of the world's smartest tech investors think about all this? Kathy Wood runs ARK Invest. She predicted Tesla's explosive growth when everyone called it overvalued. She saw the AI revolution before most institutional investors took it seriously. And she just said, I think the chaser is going to be humanoid robots. That is going to be the biggest of all the embodied AI opportunities. Not just big, the biggest. But here's what most headlines missed. I am really excited about how much my productivity as an individual is going to increase with AI. Wood's point is simple. Robots won't just transform industries. They'll transform your daily life, becoming as ordinary as a smartphone. Big companies may need years to adapt, but everyday consumers are already embracing the shift. Here's the controversial part. Wood said there could be short-term volatility as markets adjust, but robotics company valuations will make sense over five years. Translation. The market thinks these companies are overvalued. Wood says they're underpriced for what's coming. Her fund is heavily weighted toward Tesla, Palantir, and AMD. She's betting billions that humanoid robots will transform multiple industries simultaneously. Elon Musk says Optimus robots will eventually represent 80% of Tesla's value. Not 10%, not 30%, 80%. So let's get practical. What does this mean for you? This isn't happening to you. This is happening around you. And you get to decide how you respond. If you're in business, stop asking, will robots replace my workers? Start asking, how can human robot collaboration make us 10x more productive? The companies that figure out genuine collaboration first will have an insurmountable competitive advantage. If you're investing, robotics isn't a sector anymore. It's infrastructure. Every industry will be transformed within the next decade. Manufacturing, healthcare, logistics, agriculture, construction, retail, elder care, all of it. The question isn't, should I invest in robotics? It's, which industries are getting disrupted first? If you're a parent, prepare your kids for a world where human-robot interaction is as normal as using a smartphone. Focus on skills that complement robots. Creative problem solving. Emotional intelligence. Strategic thinking. Ethical reasoning. These become more valuable, not less, in a world filled with capable robots. If you're a worker, start developing expertise in managing, programming, or maintaining robotic systems, even at a basic level. In five years, works well with robots will be as important on your resume as works well with computers is today. The jobs being created right now, robot trainers, AI supervisors, human robot coordinators, didn't exist three years ago. They'll be everywhere by 2030. So let me bring this home. Everything I've shown you is real. The robotic eye that runs on light. Published research ready for commercialization. The artificial muscles existing now in laboratories preparing for 3D printing. The $99 humanoid. Chinese consumers are buying them today. The AI giving robots physical understanding Google DeepMind released it this month. Every single breakthrough happened within one month in late 2025. The question isn't whether the robot revolution will happen. The revolution is here. It's operational. It's accelerating. 
The only question that matters is, will you be ready? Robots aren't coming. They're already here. Stronger, smarter, cheaper, and advancing exponentially. Most people still think this is science fiction, but you're watching the convergence that will change everything.